check out this view. Isn't this fantastic? People have stood on this spot and they have seen this view since the gold rush times. Welcome to Book Your Imagination. My name is Anne. I am here at the Ferry Building, a San Francisco icon. And if this building could talk, oh my gosh, the stories it would tell. But since it can't, I'm going to fill you in on a little bit of this building story. there were only about a thousand people living in San Francisco and then gold was discovered by 1870 we had hundred and fifty thousand people and it was the tenth largest city in the United States but if you wanted to get to San Francisco from the North Bay or the East Bay you had to take a ferry so there were ferry landings all along the Embarcadero but this was the most important Here's a photograph taken from around 1885 from roughly the same spot I'm standing in right now. Each of those bays has a city's name over it. St. Louis, San Jose, Los Angeles, Chicago, and so on. You would go into that bay and catch the ferry over to Berkeley, Oakland, or Alameda, and then take your train to your final destination. But it is just a simple wooden building. In 1890, there were around 300,000 people living in San Francisco, and the Board of State Harbor Commission wanted something a little more grand, efficient, but that had significance for people arriving and departing from San Francisco. So they hired a 34-year-old architect. 34 years old. Arthur Page Brown designed this building. It is the Beaux Arts style with the iconic clock tower and a clock on all four sides. Sadly, Mr. Brown died during the construction of the building from a runaway horse and buggy accident. So he never got to see it finished, but my gosh, what a legacy. It opened in 1898 and it's still standing today, as you can see. It survived the devastating 1906 earthquake and the 1989 earthquake. The ferry building is actually built over the water and these glass tiles mark the water line underneath. building it used to be a roundabout for the streetcars and horse and buggies it was said it was so busy that a streetcar would stop by here every 18 seconds this second floor used to be the main floor where all the passengers would board or disembark from the ferries it was a solid floor the cutouts didn't exist the first floor where all the action is today was for the porters, the luggage, and the cargo. Check out this seal of the state of California that's done in tile. I think this is so beautiful and it is the original tile. It features miners, ships, sheaves of wheat which represent California's agriculture, the bear, which is California state animal, and our logo, Eureka, which means I have found it. But also prominent on the state seal is Athena, Greek goddess of war and wisdom. And it's a little odd that she's on the California seal, but here's why. When Athena was born, she was born fully formed as an adult. California was never a territory, it was never a colony. When California was formed, it was formed as a state, fully formed state of the Union. So that's why Athena is on our seal. The Ferry Building's heyday was from 1898 through the 1930s. And in the 1930s, two things happened. The Golden Gate Bridge was finished, the Bay Bridge was finished. So now people could just drive into San Francisco. They didn't need the ferries. And one by one, the ferries stopped operating. In the 1950s, some brilliant faction of progress decided there should be a freeway right here. It essentially cut off San Francisco from the ferry building and from the entire waterway. You could get there, yeah, but you had to walk under the freeway and no one wanted to do that. 
In the 1970s, the Perry Building was converted into office space. So this once proud building, the gateway to San Francisco that had greeted thousands of visitors from all over the world, was now hidden behind a freeway and ugly brown carpet covering those beautiful tile floors. It was a very sad time for this building. But things started to change beginning in 1989. In 1989, we had an earthquake and a double-decker section of the Bay Bridge collapsed, cutting off one of the major entry points into San Francisco. So one by one, the ferry started running again. This freeway was also damaged, so now the city had to make a decision. Tear that ugly ass freeway down or repair it. Hmm. What should they do? Thankfully, they made the right decision, but they did leave an homage to the freeway with these markers that show where the columns were. The 1989 earthquake led to a rebirth of the entire waterway, including a renovation of the ferry building into what it is today. When you walk in the front door, you'll see the history of the ferry building and photographs showing the renovation. This is one of the original minute hands from the clock tower. This marquee is a nod to the history of the ferry building. It's got a digital clock in the upper right corner and the entire display could be digital, but it's not. This is actually one of my favorite parts of coming to the ferry building. The second floor, which used to be the main floor in the ferry building, was renovated with these cutouts to let light from these fantastic skylights down into the first floor. The first floor is now a unique shopping experience that features local California farmers and artisans where you can buy food, wine, and other products that you won't be able to get anywhere else. When you come out back, you get this fantastic view and there are benches all along the waterway to be able to enjoy it. And if you're hungry, there are plenty of places to eat. On Saturdays, this entire area behind me is transformed into a farmer's market, once again featuring local and regional farmers who use sustainable farming methods. You can get fresh fruits, vegetables, herbs, flowers, and a lot more. building a masterpiece but it's exactly what the Board of State Harbor Commission wanted something that was grand efficient and has significance for people visiting San Francisco it's withstood two earthquakes and it is once again a proud and vibrant part of San Francisco it's part of our heritage so if you're ever visiting San Francisco consider stopping by the ferry building experience some of the artisan foods and enjoy the great views of the bay Thank you for watching.